Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanted to have a brief discussion about recording levels. Uh, you hear a lot about, you know, meters and stuff like that. If you're new to recording, people might try to tell you, oh, you want to try to record as loud as you can without clipping. If you hear that, don't listen to it. This is now 2020. We're recording with digital equipment. You don't have to worry about that anymore. The reason that was originally a thing was back in the day of analog gear. You had to record as loud as you could to get over the noise floor of tape. We're not working with tape. Digital is really quiet. There's no tape hiss for you to mask with sound, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, the thing you want to be careful of when recording is clipping. You don't want to go over 0 dB, so you definitely don't want to clip. But as long as you're not clipped and as long as you're at a decent level in the digital world, you can always turn things up or down after the fact. Uh, with something called region gain, or in other DAWs it might be called clip gain or item gain, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But in Logic it's called region gain, and we'll get into that. But basically, when you start recording, you want to just make sure, A, you're not clipping, and you want to make sure you're at a healthy level so that you can hear yourself. If you're recording to a backing track of some sort, or you got other music in the project, and you're having a hard time hearing yourself, don't feel bad to turn your microphone mic preamp gain up a little bit, or turn down the other tracks in the project so you can hear yourself a little bit better. Another thing to be aware of is a lot of audio interfaces have what's called direct monitoring. There's usually a dial on the unit that will blend between the direct signal of your microphone coming into the input versus the playback or whatever you're playing back from your DAW. And you have to kind of find the right setting in the middle of that dial to uh, get the right blend. And sometimes that might mean also turning up your mic pre-gain or turning down the output of the DAW as well. Also, some audio interfaces may just have a button turn direct mine on or off, and you don't get to control the blend. In that case, you really have to rely on turning up the mic gain or turning down the output of the tracks in Logic or whatever DAW you're using. Now, I prefer to use what's called input monitoring, and that is where you monitor through Logic. So I would either turn direct monitoring off or set the knob all the way clockwise to that position where you only hear what's coming back through the DAW and you don't hear any of the direct signal. And then what you do is you turn on input monitor in logic and that way you'll hear yourself through logic. But the nice thing about input monitoring is you can also put like say a reverb on the track and then you can get to hear yourself singing through reverb while you're recording. Now your vocals will not be recorded that reverb. You can turn that reverb off after the recording is done. So you can EQ and compress and all that stuff before you put in reverb on there. Now, let's talk about levels. Now that we covered a lot of those basic, the thing you want to pay attention to is a meter. So I'm going to jump into the mixer because you see the meter on the channel strips in Logic. So I'm going to press Command 2 to jump into the mixer, open that up in its own window. Now in, untitled 1, mixer, tracks, window, audio 2, channel strip groove. And audio 2 is a channel strip that I have set up to record my microphone. So I'm going to interact with this and let's go take a look at the meter. In audio, off, 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 mixed, record, switch, 0.0, .0 decibels, volume fader, slider, off, P, button. And you see that this says off. That basically means that the meter is not getting any information. I'm going to press control I to turn input monitor and on. And now if I talk into the microphone I have plugged into Logic, you will be able to hear me. And I'm going to move off of this meter and then move back onto it. Zero points off, minus 14.5. And you see that I'm coming in at minus 14.5. And that's usually a very nice, healthy level to go ahead and record at. You know, some people say try to record at minus 16 or minus 18, et cetera, et cetera. You don't really have to worry about it so long as you give yourself some headroom. Minus 14 is still plenty of headroom because it is way, way, way below zero. And once you go over zero, that's clipping, and you really can't do anything about clipping once you cross zero. So at this point, if I start singing loud, like, hey, 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 yeah. see, I just got a lot louder there. Zero on, zero point zero, P, button. And you see, I actually got up to zero. So, you know, in that case, you might want to actually record at a quieter level. Um, so you can turn the input down on the microphone. So you always want to test before you record at the loudest level that you're going to record at. Um, and that way you'll know if you're at the right levels. So now I'm gonna go turn my microphone input down a little bit. I'm using an Apogee element, so I have audio device control at my disposal, so I can do this right from within Logic. But normally you'd probably just have to reach over and turn down the input gain on your audio interface, so. Sensitivity, button, off, 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 50, input gain, slider. So input gain is set to In 50. Slider, 40. 
set this down to 40 and Auto slider. let's jump back over here Audio two. Off. Solo. Switch. so now i just press bo end to jump to the end of the channel strip and now i'm going to navigate back to the meter with bo left arrow off on mixed 0.0, .0 decibels volume fader slider that's the volume fader on 0.0, .0. Peak button. And now I'm going to view a space to clear the peak meter. Press on 0.0. .0 peak button. Hey, hey, hey. Zero point off. Minus 21.9. So I'm at minus 21.9. Now let's get as loud as I did earlier. Hey, hey, hey. Zero points off. Minus 11.6. Peak you button. See, you see there, I peaked at minus 11.6. So I gave myself more than enough headroom at this setting if I wanted to go ahead and record something where I might get that loud. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and record something so I can show you how to use region gain to turn stuff down before or after. Now, you might ask, why don't I just use a track fader? 0.0, .0 decibels. Volume fader. Slider. The volume fader is right there. But here's the thing. The volume fader is the level after the signal is recorded, passes through the channel strip, any effects you have on the channel strip, etc., etc. Right now, there are no effects on this channel strip, so it doesn't really make any difference. But however, turning this down does not turn down the level that your, your microphone is capturing. The audio is being recorded at the level of your input gain. Um, so turning this down will, will turn down the level that the master bus sees, but it's not going to turn down the level that's being captured. So you need to be aware of that. This, is, this, this level for your track fader uh, does not affect the input level at all. It will only affect the level going out to the master bus or whatever bus you have this track routed to and it will affect the level after any plugins or anything like that on the track. So right now, no plugins on the track, so it doesn't really matter in that regard. But in a recording situation, turning this down does not help at all. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to hit R, record something here. This is a test, man. I'm just checking out recording something so I can demonstrate what region gain sounds like to you. All right, here we go. I'm going to hit space to stop this now. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. All right, so if I hit face to play this. This is a test, man. I'm just checking out recording something so I can demonstrate what region gain sounds like to you. One bar, one beat, one division. All right, so there we have that recording. I'm going to jump back over to track headers here. Tracks contents. Gr tracks header. Group in tracks. Track two audio two. Group. All right, and this is the track that we recorded on. I'm going to move the playhead a little closer to where we started recording. I'm just going to do control period to move to the nearest transient. And that should put me right at the start of where the recording starts. This is a test. One bar, four beats, four divisions, 204 ticks. Yep. All right. There we go. So now I don't have to wait for it to start playing. I can just hear what the level is. So let's go into the inspector so we can look at region gain. Out of tracks header. Out of tracks. Group. Out of tracks. Inspector. Group. Inspector. Inspe expanded. Disclosure triangle. And we want the region inspector. Region. Untitled one table. No selection. All right. See this table here. Let's interact with that. In table. Row one of nine. Mute. Uncheck. Check. Checkbox selected. Mute. And I do have a tutorial on the inspector. I'll link that in the description below. If you want to look at the inspector in depth, that will walk you through the inspector. Loot. Hyphen. Hyphen. Transpose. Fine tune. Flex and follow. Gain. All right. So gain. The gain slider is what we're looking for. We can turn this up or down. Slider. And... Take it to the negative. Minus 1.0. Minus minus 3. Mi minus 5. Point, minus 6.0. This is a test, man. I'm just checking out recording something. So, One bar four so that's turned down. Minus, mi minus, mi minus. This is a test, man. I'm just checking out. One bar four that's the normal level. And I can also turn it plus, up. Plus, 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 plus 5.0. Plus 7.0. This is a test, man. I'm just checking out recording something so I can demonstrate. One bar four beats. Right. One division. And if you want to see what that looks like on a meter, we can go look at that now that we turn it up. Slider. Get out of this table. More. Dim collapsed. And I'm just going to look at the channel strip and the inspector More. here. More. Collapsed. Out of table. Expanded. Disclo track. Audio 2. Table. Nose. Mixer. Layout area. Mixer layout In area. Audio 2. Partially audio hidden. Two. Channel strip group. Interact with audio 2. In audio 2. Off. 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 Mixed. Record. Switch. And you see this looks a lot like the mixer uh, channel strip that we're just in. 0, 0.0 decibel. Off. Minus 19.5. Peak. Button. Let's clear this. Press. Off. Uh, hit space again. This is a test, Peak man. Button. I'm just checking out. 1 bar 4 beats. 0. Off. Minus 19.5. Yep. The minus 19.5. So if someone ever tells you like, hey, you know, you got to make sure that your signal at minus 18 dB, you know, so that you hit this, you know, plug in at the right level that the plug in is expecting. That's how you can do it. Just turn the region gain up or down till you get it at minus 18. Now, 
if you ask me in my personal opinion, that doesn't really matter. Just use the plugin. Anyway, um, that's how you mess with region gain, and that's how you can peep track of your inputs when you're recording. Make sure you're not recording too loud. Make sure you're not clipping. Hope you found that information useful. If you got any questions about this, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Got a suggestion for a tutorial I should do next? Also leave that in the comments below. And hey, if you got a tip or trick of your own you want to share with the community, you know what to do. Leave those in the comments below. Hey, thanks for checking this out. Don't forget to check out the blog, logic.band as well. HTTPS, logic.band. And as always, until next time, happy recording.